he's, he's staging his death was my first inclination. Only because I know the pressure that's been building. I know he's got a warrant being served on his house. His doors are locked. There's a lot of pressure on this guy. And when you put pressure on people, he has, he has a um, special ops background. He was in the Air Force. This guy can jump out of planes. He can live in swamps. You know, he can get around. He knows he has the training to do it. And so going down in Alabama in a swamp, um, again, I'm not surprised. And Mark um, sent an email to me tonight um, around 718 Eastern Standard Time through a Google account. Um, the email is essentially wanting to set the record straight. And um, at the end of the email, he says, by the time you read this, I will have taken my own life. Um, the, the email is, is, gives his description of what happened in that plane, why he bailed out. Um, it describes why the business dealings went south the way they did and why the warrant was issued. And um, it also, lastly, talks about how great his wife Michelle is and, and how much stress he's put her through. Um, he has a lot of remorse for that. He said that when he got to 22,000 feet, that basically a spider crack developed and then it did implode on him and it did come in on him. Um, he contends that um, a piece of the shrapnel from that, uh, that the plane did depressurize a piece of shrapnel hit him in the back of in the back uh, that he started bleeding a lot he had a lot of blood on his clothes he he said and that at that point the the only thing he knew how to do through his training was to get out of the plane I hope he'll just turn himself in and, and set the record straight himself I don't want to be the guy that has to um, has to uh, clean up his record but um, let's just hope they find him